Everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric Terrigan, our long-running series, The Unported Playlist, where I take a look at some of my favorite unported arcade games of all time, and today we're playing Terror Burst from Konami. If you know anything about me or the channel, you know I love two things, unported arcade games and light gun games, and Terror Burst has both of them for us. Before you get too far involved, there, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, that notification bell definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But without further ado, let's shoot some aliens. Now, I absolutely love Konami light gun games. Evil Knight, Total Vice, things like that. Konami was always the king to me for 3D arcade games if it wasn't made by Sega. And Terror Burst is an absolutely outstanding game. Now, unfortunately, I do not yet own a PCB for this. I'm actually talking to somebody as I record this voiceover, trying to do a deal on a full Terror Burst setup. The reason I'm doing that is because, unfortunately, in MAME emulation, even at .251, the newest revision as of recording this, it freezes every single time on the second stage boss. Emulation is getting much better on Terror Burst, and maybe by the time you watch this video, it is working, but right now you can't see the entire game. Now, I have played this game a long time ago in arcades, and absolutely fell in love with it, and that's why I need to have it for my collection. But it is definitely a colorful game. It's quasi horror because you have these aliens and monsters you're shooting but it's so bright and so airy it really isn't anything in the house of the dead realm and i absolutely love the look of the horror hardware as well because it uses an analog device's digital signal processor versus the later 3d effect stuff that konami would go on to use and it just has that classic 90 sort of blocky polygon that i absolutely love but you will see that it has texture filtering it is impressive for the time and era and while this technically is a quote-unquote light gun game, it actually uses IR sensors and a black and white camera inside of the gun, which means that technically you don't really need to worry about that raster pattern like you would on a traditional raster-based sensor. And you'll see there I got over the bridge. If you screw up and shoot that truck too many times, it explodes and you go a different route. And I love the branching paths in this game as well. And if you aren't holding your finger on the trigger, you have a lock-on mechanic to the gun as well. So it has that secondary kind of gameplay element. You could just shoot everything, but honestly, using that lock-on is going to be what you need. And I love that those three aliens are just sitting there at the coffee shop. Definitely gives me some Mars Attack vibes. They're aliens, but they're kind of more funny than they are scary, and they still kind of have that same sort of design, like half alien, half bug. I'm not 100% sure what they're supposed to be, but I know you're supposed to shoot them, and that is good enough for me. It's just a fun game. It's challenging, sometimes maybe too much, so it feels like it's really set up to always be played with a two-player setup versus one, but it just has everything I love, and I love these exploding barrels that they give you sometimes. You'll see in just a moment. There's a lot of strategy to this game and a lot of areas where, as opposed to shooting those five aliens, you can just absolutely blow them up. It's just that good, and it's a game that I rarely have ever hear mentioned, probably because the emulation has been spotty at best for the longest time, and still isn't perfect. Now that's not a knock on the emulation, the people that do the work on these things do a spectacular job, it just needs a little bit more work. But the boss battles, at least the first one that you can play via MAME, is great, and I remember all the bosses from an actual arcade playthrough, and the game just keeps getting better and better. This is one of my favorites from Konami, I love that that tank just 100% explodes all those cars, and there is so much spectacle in this game as well. They shoot those missiles into the air, and now all of a sudden chunks of the building are coming down, and you will see I have to take my first continue right there. It's a fair game, but it's a challenging game. Never feels cheap, never feels too easy, and I love that we just miss getting crushed by that tower as well. And that's what I love so much about Terror Burst. It's a constant spectacle, it's constant something to shoot at, there's constantly something going on, and it does have that good sense of humor as well as that tank just drove over one of his compatriots. It's like kind of an Egyptian robot that also looks like an alien. It's mixing a lot of different themes and genres together, but it really does work, and I love that even the machine gun fire from the boss, as opposed to hitting a weak point and stopping him, you can just hit his fire. But it's just amazing. What I love so much are the hilarious cutscenes and the music as well. It's an absolute blast. So now that we have destroyed this boss, I'll go ahead and give you 45 seconds and I will be right back.
I love that the soundtrack is like a mix of a horror soundtrack with some hard-boiled detective jazz thrown in there. It definitely works. And again, we just shot down an entire chunk of highway and all those aliens were crushed with it. This is just so much fun, and it's unfortunate that it's a really hard arcade cabinet to find. I probably haven't seen a Terror Burst cabinet for over 10 years right now, and counting, and I do not know of any of them in North America. So if you know of a Terror Burst cabinet, leave me a comment down below and tell me where you saw it, because I would love to play it again. And hopefully by the time this video goes live, I will have this in my permanent collection, and maybe I'll be able to change that long play out for a hardware review and an original hardware coverage, because that's the thing. 3D emulation and MAME is always being worked on, and so many games run decently. It's just so unfortunate that this freezes at the second stage boss. And I have heard that if you change different command lines on execution for how it deals with the processes, some people seem to be able to get by it. I just never have. I tried like a dozen times with save states, and nothing ever seems to work. But now that we're underneath this parking garage, I love the branching paths and how different things change in this game because you will see once we get this shotgun if you hit those pillars too many times you're going to start blowing chunks off of this entire structure. If you do a good job and don't blow off too many something different might happen but as opposed to where it gives you the option for branching pathways something like House of the Dead where you can actually choose sometimes this game never really tells you what's going to happen you just kind of get to find out and you'll see here if you shoot too many that parking garage starts to shake. And that means it is definitely coming down. But I love how interactive the environments are and how you can pivot things like that. Just like in Evil Night, we had to shoot doorknobs off secret rooms to get collectibles. In Terror Burst, you have to shoot or not shoot different things to be able to see different events because we hit too many times there and this entire building is going to come crumbling down. And again, I just love the graphical look of this game as well. The Hornet had a really nice look to it. And I think Terror Burst is the prettiest game on the platform. But if it's not a light gun game, you don't get a driving segment, but we have it here. And I love when you get to go fast in a light gun game on a vehicle section as well. Roaring down this highway, shooting everything as the camera pans left and right. It really gives you a good sense of speed and a good sense of action that I can't get enough of. And as these Egyptian style alien robots, again, not sure what they are, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Just run down the road. I love that they can't make the turn and they actually hit the side of the highway and just explode. It's hilarious and I can't get enough of it. And that's the great thing about Terror Burst. It's always showing you something new and different. Always kind of making you laugh and always being a really competent light gun game with a lot of awesome shooting because all of the enemy patterns, sometimes using that lock on is the way to go. To get that last, I don't know, mechanical head crab from Half-Life dead, it's easier to lock onto it than it is to try to actually shoot it. But you will see in spots I definitely take some damage and sometimes the game gives you too many things on screen at once to be able to shoot as a single individual player. If you get this laser gun power, you definitely can take a lot out though. And it gives you some good options for weaponry. You have your automatic pistol that's always shooting, you have a shotgun, you have bombs, and then you have that laser gun as well. But this is the thing, now that we're at this area, that dude just ran off into the building and exploded and you need to knock these two guys out here. But once they get down below, we're getting really close to the point in which, at least for me, the emulation just fails. And that's the unfortunate part. I rarely have ever cover games on unported playlists that you can't see from start to finish. But I love Terror Burst so much, I wanted to talk about it because sometimes talking about things shakes some of the cobwebs loose and more things get done because I have talked to a few people that have been improving Konami 3D emulation in MAME and that is absolutely awesome. Getting these games preserved for a new generation is going to be a huge deal because I think there's a lot of fun to be had here. Set this up with a Sinden light gun and just have an absolute blast. But as those three ships take off, you come up here to the boss battle and that's it. The music is playing, you have control of your gun, but something is not executing. Something, probably on the CPU side, just is not pulling in that next instruction. But at least you do get an awesome intro as these ships come to Earth and you see the alien commander here. My favorite part is this takes place in New Chicago and it hasn't really changed much since I recorded this video because I live in old Chicago, but I love seeing Chicago in arcade games. Short of that, that is Terror Burst. Hopefully, when you leave me a comment down below, I can tell you that I have acquired the PCB. And if I have not, I'm definitely going to keep hunting for it, because this is the game I absolutely need to have in my permanent collection. I'll be back with more Unported next week. Leave me a comment down below. Bye-bye.